Hey everybody, welcome to Country Girl. My name is Kathy Jarvis and today I'm out in the garden. I haven't been out here for a while because we've had really cold weather and snow. I came out and knocked the snow off the greenhouses, but I haven't really checked any of the plants. And that's what we're going to do today. Now the lowest it got into the greenhouses was 14 degrees. So we're going to go into the small one first, which is less protective than the big one, and see if anything's still alive. Now remember these are unheated greenhouses, so we'll just see what's going on. Actually, the Brussels sprouts did not do too well, I mean too bad. They look like they just might have been able to handle it. The carrots are still green, doing well. Let's see if the ground the ground's not frozen. It's nice. So those did all right. The petunias don't look like they did too well. The oregano, it's okay. The rest of the stuff, like I said, the petunias, I don't think... There's still some green on there, but they're just looking a little limp. And of course, the starts that we have, we won't know until springtime for sure whether they come up. So I'm pleased with the Brussels sprouts. Those are the main ones I wanted in here to stay. So we'll close it up in the main garden. We have the um, straw underneath the, uh, and that managed to keep the, fr the ground from freezing. A second, stick my fingers down in there. So that's good. So that never froze. Hi, peaches. We got peaches and we got little gray today with us. So let's go check the main greenhouse. I don't trip over a cat first. Now if you remember we have Brussels sprouts, cabbages, cauliflower, and broccoli that's not covered in here. Every, everything else has been covered. All right. The kale did really well. No problem with that. It's looking really well. Let's go over here and see what's going on over here. Oh, some of the broccoli's laying down. Actually, that's done. I should pick that. This Cabbage looks okay. It's got a little bit of damage, but it's all right. These are the old cauliflower that I really didn't expect to do anything. I was just kind of leaving them grow just to see. This one's actually got a little head on it. So, Brussels sprouts look like they did well. So, I have no problem with there. Now, let's do a little uncovering and see what we got underneath. The little plants haven't grown any, but they're still alive. It looks like the carrots, don't know if they're going to make it or not. They're pretty, pretty dry. May have, I have to probably water this. So this isn't bad. Now let's check the older ones and see what happens underneath here. Oh, the lettuce all looks really well. Spinach looks well. 
The lettuce looks okay. The turnips look good. Curious as to, pe as to what happened to the peas. Some of them look like they're died out, but we've got plenty of little pea shoots that we can get off the top yet. So that's not bad. The broccoli rob's not bad. Charms did good. Let's go over here and see how the reddishes and the beets did. Everything looks good underneath here. The little cauliflowers underneath here look good. The reddishes are fine. The beets are doing well. And the celery did not do bad either. So I'm pretty pleased with how things are going in here. It's like 50 degrees right now in here. And I'm going to see about putting some water down on these and covering them back up for the next round of cold weather that we're going to be getting. So hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe to the channel, please. And hit the bell icon so you know when I'm on next. And remember to dream big and follow that dream. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.